Hi ladies, so I just found out I have to be on a Teams call at one o'clock, so those of you who voted early get to see peace. <laughs> okay, let's put some of that there. The finishing spray, I'm getting in that mode because it's getting more and more and more and I wanna be in my summer mode as early as possible. I mean, I have a couple more tricks, like to really make sure you stay where you wanna be. And I'll do a special one just for that. I mean, that goes into layers. <laughs> we add translucent powder in here. It's like a whole thing. All right. There we go. We are prepped. We're gonna do a little under eye corrector and then we're gonna get to work. Um, I just thought it would be fun to play. And man, you know what? I didn't do my hydrogel eye patches last week and I did a skin analyzer assessment. It said, yeah, we can tell, thank you. Get back to using your um, hydrogel eye patches. All these little, right here, <laughs> right where the patches hit. I was like, dang, that stuff really works. Okay. So there we go. There we go. Gonna let that seep in and do its job. Ooh, the other thing I was gonna tell y'all too is, um, so I can't do the retinol as much down here as I can up here. My skin is more sensitive. Um, but what I did do is I started doing the deep wrinkle filler because I had these two right here, look. It's uh, uh, full disclosure, right? So, um, and for the last week, and these are definitely changing, visibly changing to me. So keep an eye on that, doing that every day. All right, so since we're gonna be playing with this gorgeous palette, so um, Crystalline, Biscotti, Cashmere Haze, and Starry Night, I think we should play with some light beam today as our base. Now I could also do the, um, just the primer, the eye primer all by itself. It's really just a personal preference. But I thought, eh, why not? Let's get some of that in there. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Cashmere Haze and I'm gonna put that in my crease. Okay. Right there. Just like that. Right, and I do it with my eye open so that I can see exactly where the color is going. And if I don't like it, I can shift and change. All right, so that's Cashmere Haze. Okay. And then we're going to take Biscotti and we're going to put that on the eyelid. Now, if I wanted to really look professional and pop, I would have actually done a cut crease. It's internal team, not external. <laughs> and honestly, cut creases sound more daunting than what they are. So I'll probably do another one of those later this week. I am going to do a quick um, video where I'm going to do multiple videos and talk about like the crazy stuff like milia, melanin, um, hyaluronic acid, just those buzzwords that you're hearing so that you can understand what they're really talking about versus what they are hyping you about. Because we all know what that, that life is like. Oh yeah, you need a 
Oh, that's nice. All right, and then we blend. 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 Oh, there's my daughter. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so now I have to hurry because my daughter's been gone on a weekend. Okay. So then we're going to take crystalline and we're going to pop that right there. Just to break up the cashmere. And then we're going to come in here too, just to give that a little brightness. Now I'll touch that back up after I do the foundation. And then to bring in the Starry Night, we're going to let something fall. All right. We're going to come in. We use our eyeliner pen. we go and then I'm gonna come in with Starry Night and smudge it. So in this case knowing I'm gonna do more of the Starry Night I wasn't as specific with the eyeliner because I knew I just wanted something for the um, Starry Night to stick to just like that. just a really pretty everybody thinks you did a whole bunch and you're like no I just did this <laughs> that's all I did which is what I like showing you like you would normally look at like oh my god she must have spent like 15 minutes no this was like three four minutes and you have this look and you can mix and match any of these colors I could have done just these two these two like you can do whatever and maybe what I'll do this week is I'll start playing with just these four colors and show you some different looks. But that's what I would gravitate to if I were using this. All right. There we go. So now we're going to do some sissy crab. Because my daughter's going to be coming in here in a minute and wanting to hug me and I want to hug her. All right, so CC cream, because I'm going to be on a Teams call and I want the little extra boost of SPF. Now, the 3D would also be good because it has the 3D formula that counteracts some of it as well. I am almost in light to medium. I just need to go outside a little bit more. Yep. All right. All right. And now we're going to do a little concealer today because my eyes are definitely talking to me today. Oh, I forgot to do mascara. Well, let's hope I don't goof. There we go. All right, lash primer. I think I'm gonna do ultimate mascara today. I think that's what this look says. Hey lady, could you do that for me today? Unless that's what fell, that's what fell in. And I think it is. And we're gonna get the last of the Fanorama in here. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I just did the one thing I told you to never do. Don't do that. <laughs> Although in our murder mystery group, I found a video you're going to see, I think it's Wednesday. By Mary Kay that actually tells you how to apply each of the mascaras. Like there's little tricks for each one. And I thought that was so cool. So I'll show it here in the VIP group after I show it to the birthday bash people. We had a lot of fun with bingo last night. So I did my first ever virtual bingo. Oh, we are doing that again. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it in June or maybe I'll do it once a month. It was just that much fun. All right, woo, excuse me. Um, all right, so we're gonna take a little bit more of the crystalline. Come right here. Like that. And then I think I'm gonna do a little of the starry night underneath just to give that little bit of extra connection. Right there. Just a little bit. And I like using eyeshadow instead of eyeliner because it's softer and it doesn't close my eyes. And I go just to the pupil. All right, ladies. There you go. All I have to do now is a little translucent powder. I always do that area first. Just Keep it basic today. And then for lips, what are we gonna do for lips today? Real quick. Lip primer. Mm, I need moisture today. I don't remember what this one is. It's pretty. Sheer illusion. Oh, this is pretty. So I want some vitamin E on my lips today. So we are going. It's kind of the equivalent to the silver one we had under Nourishine, where it's just a nice sheer coverage. So this is sheer illusion. It's a wonderful goes over everything or by itself. But ladies, this is hope, a uh, peace, peace. This is peace. So this is peace. So if you ever have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll play with the four colors over the next couple of days just to show you the versatility in them. But this was my first, like if I were gonna use them um, as is, this is how I would use them. As always, I'm here to help in any way, shape or form. I'm gonna go hug my daughter. Have a great day.